ASI thick of it, and y'all been blowing me up all on the Patreon about this record. And, you know, if you want to make a request and you got some fire, go join the Patreon because I am a man of the people, not above but equal. And if you ask for it, I will bring it to you. KSI, think of it. Did I say that? Featuring Trippy Red. Let's get it. Might have said it twice. KSI, but you have bad friends. Everybody knows. They know me where it snows. I skied in and they froze. I don't know no nothing but no ice. I'm just cold. I'm in my prime, but this ain't even final four. They know me down, but still my feet, they find the floor. I went from living room straight out to sold out doors. Life's fine, but trust I'm ready for the war. Whoa. Life's fine, but just... I don't... What's wrong? Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm so confused. Niggas have been killing KSI about this? What's wrong with this? Like, it's got a nice little, like, punk rock vibe to it. What he's saying is he's been feeling cold right now. He's feeling like he has a disconnect from the world. And that that's that's a fact. You know, I think KSI is, is a YouTube darling. And he's definitely had controversies. But most of the time, we usually like him in the controversy. If, like, anybody going at KSI, we're usually always on KSI's side. So now, between the, like, Lunchables thing, which... I'm going to be real with you, nigga. I, I grew up in the early 2000s when we had Lunchables. I don't know why the hell y'all niggas is on the internet arguing and mad about Lunchables. I think y'all just got too much time on your hands. But neither here nor there. He's now dealing with some backlash. And I do like that he's using his music to express it. I don't look at KSI to be some, like, crazy lyricist or nothing. I'm just looking at him to see whether he can provide a vibe. Whether he can catch me that in that pocket. Without doors. Life's fire, but trust I'm ready for the war. Whoa, this is how the story goes. Whoa, I guess this is how the story goes. Get your money, nigga. <laughs> Them boys don't play about Prime. Nigga, Prime be everywhere, boy. Prime, cut the check. They're for ready to absorb y'all. I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Where's my crown? That's my bling. Always drama when I ring. See, I believe that if I see it in my heart, smash through the ceiling because I'm reaching for the stars. Whoa. Nigga, I ain't no way in hell this is the song everybody is, is getting on KSI about. This is probably the best KSI song genuinely I've ever heard. Other than like the Sidemen Christmas shit. But that's not like, that's not like good on like the song is good. It's just sort of funny. And it's like cool. Like, you know, when you see people who don't rap rap, it's just sort of like, I say it's real fun. But nigga, I like this. Now I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't like Trippy Red. And I've just come to terms with that. That nigga be rapping like he trying to clear his the back of his throat out. So I never really liked it Trippy. He do got fight that kill people, real people. I like that song. I guess this is how the story goes. I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows. They know me where it snows. I see it and they froze. I don't know no nothing but no ice. I'm just cold. Forty something minutes, so 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 I've been told. Highway to heaven, I'm just cruising by my lawn. My faith in God, mine and the sun, I'm by the soul. My life is hard, I turn the wheel, I crack the code. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. After hearing Trippy Red, this does just sound like noise now. There's a way this nigga just sort of made this whole shit just sound like niggas yelling. But I felt like what KSI was doing, because there's a thing, there's thing to be said about the subtleties. KSI's not necessarily going for that super high note and shit. Trippy Red be singing as if, like, as if he doesn't understand sonics and sound. I, I, but I don't, I don't know, nigga. This is not that bad to me. Trippy Red just not the feature. Oh, that's the wheel, I the code. Yeah. Sound like the bankroll oh, hated. Oh, 
Oh, uh, no, he going to kill it with the kids with this one. I ain't going to lie. Nah, nigga, I like this joke. This joke, Trippy Red. Trippy Red just keep him out of there. I like this bitch. Especially because as far as, like, we're talking about the realness of music, which is something that I appreciate. Authenticity, realness, speaking in a way that that we know you're not cap. Is KSI in his prime? Yeah, I can say that. Prime. Oh, nigga, I just got the double entendre with the vine drink. <laughs> That's not really a double entendre. More like a, 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 a advertisement. But he's in his prime of it. The prime. He's, yeah, he's probably the best point of he's ever been. Probably richer than he's ever been. And the nigga's coming out and he's singing. He's having fun. And he's, he's feeling the pressures of the world, which I think, you know, you don't make it to KSI's size without a little bit of controversy. You don't make it out. And I think... I'm one of the niggas who definitely be telling people, man, get over it. Like, don't be, you over here crying and moaning and bitch, you making millions. Niggas really should be more appreciative of what they're saying, but of what they're going through. But I will say, of what they have, but what I will say is I totally understand the stress and the, and everything that comes with it. I do understand how when your phone used to be something, it was a dopamine kick. We used to, oh, like all of us. We open our phones and we see something that makes us laugh or makes us happy or triggers us to want to go comment or whatever. Could you imagine every time you opened your phone, someone telling you you're ugly, someone telling you your song sucks, telling you you're 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 washed up, telling you you're a has been, telling you you're not funny. Now you over here trying to hide your phone. Now you dread opening that screen. That's sort of you got to give that to people. You got to understand what people at, at this kind of level go through. <laughs> My niece told me about this song, man. It's like, Y'all are gonna have to explain to me how this song was just this terrible. This felt like a certified vibe check. Come to the reaction by me right here, big music video by me right there. About click on it, show me some love. You watch it feels like you didn't hit that thumbs up button. You're a hoe. Stop being a hoe. KBD family, love y'all. Salute. I'm out of there. Stopped it before that video started. You gotta be quicker than that, YouTube. You got to be quicker than that.